Aquarius, welcome to your just in time tarot reading. If you're watching this Aquarius, trust that there is a message here for you. And that message begins with be bold and make the first move. Okay. Is this expressing your feelings for somebody or is this making the first move towards a new plan, towards a new goal? Uh, you're being asked to put some action behind, you know, what you're feeling or what you're intending here, Aquarius. All right, let's go deeper. I have the Oracle of the Angels here and I have success. Okay, it feels like if you be bold and make the first move, there is some kind of success here coming in. Okay, it's almost like you enter a, a new phase of this. So maybe you're wondering about a leap of faith or whether to, you know, to take some kind of action. It feels like the move is yours. It's a bit of a checkmate, Aquarius. Okay, I've got the Accurate AF Tarot here. I've pulled two cards and one of them is the Wheel of Fortune and the other one is the King of Cups, Scorpio energy coming through here. So, you know, maybe you're being asked to make an emotionally intelligent decision around some kind of big change here, Wheel of Fortune. You might be also dealing with a, a Scorpio, of course. The Wheel of Fortune wants to expand your reality. It wants to expand uh, you, you know your life in some way and it's generally through change and beginning a new cycle here so be bold and make the first move and you'll know what it is if this is your reading and it feels like by doing that the wheel of fortune shifts it expands your reality you enter a new cycle that's going to take your life maybe in a in a new direction but a successful direction all right, what have we got here? But we've got the Three of Swords coming through. And it's an energy of upheaval. It is also sometimes an energy of release or letting go. So it could be that in order for you to make the move towards whatever this is, there's also something to, to leave behind. There might be a door to close as well. And that is not easy, right? Change is never easy. What else do we have? I've got the Knight of Wands here, Sagittarian energy. So it feels like there's a new adventure here calling you and that's full of potential. Now, the Knight of Wands could have been an opportunity coming in. Yes, it can be in love, can be an offer of passion, or it could be an offer of work that you feel very enthusiastic about. Like you feel, okay, I could really, um, you know, grow with this potential here. So I feel like there's been an opportunity, but three of swords, you know, when one door opens, another one needs to be closed here. But if you be bold and make the first move towards this, your wheel of fortune shifts Aquarius towards some kind of very successful outcome. All right. And I have the, now I have the Knight of Cups coming through. Okay, so the Knight of Cups is associated with the Ace of Cups, right? So we've almost got like Ace of Cups and Ace of Wands coming through in these energies. Well, the Knights bring us that. And this is an emotional new beginning, okay? Now, the Knight of Cups can be an invitation. It can be a proposal. It can be some kind of opportunity that comes in. And it could be that if you say yes to this, it leads to a whole, you know, expansion in your life. The King of Swords is here, and that is your energy Aquarius and the Minor Arcana, and you're being asked to see the big picture here. Okay, it feels like this opportunity can take you where you want to go. So sometimes we need to zoom out and see that, well, yes, there is upheaval involved, but this could be worth it because it's moving you closer towards your best life. And I've got the Eight of Swords. Yeah, I just knew there's more, more to it. This is asking you to overcome the fears and the self-entrapment where you feel like you can't move forward towards this. You can, but it's almost like you need to reframe. That You need to see things from a different viewpoint, Aquarius. The Hermit's here. And it's a Virgo energy. It's a soul-searching energy. And it's really about finding the path towards deeper purpose. So you're being asked to assess, does this opportunity take me closer to what I feel is my destined path or not? And I think it does. So that's when we're being asked to zoom out, see the big picture and realize that there might be upheaval uh, required, but that's what can bring us the Empress some amazing, amazing results in our life. So the Empress says that there is energy to be 
created into something beautifully abundant here like the empress is the energy that you want in your life she helps things grow she ho helps things flourish she helps things become incredibly successful right it can be monetary success so what i have here is a new beginning opportunity coming in you're being asked to be bold and make the first move maybe saying yes or maybe you were the one that's actually you know sharing your heart or feelings for for someone or looking for that job career opportunity right because this opportunity could be playing out in any one of those life areas for you aquarius but it feels like something that has so much potential that you'll really feel passionate about that's really going to lead you towards success and turn your wheel of fortune however there is another door to close here one that you feel stuck in doing so but if you reframe and look at this from a different perspective i feel that it does make sense because you know this is leading you ultimately to this beautiful energy of growth and abundance that you have been trying to manifest so i will leave it there aquarius i do hope you enjoyed this reading if you would like to tune this energy for your specific personal circumstances please do follow the first link down below to my website and you can check out what i offer and don't forget to like share comment please do hit subscribe on your way out. i'd be super grateful for that and i am just wishing you all the love and magic do take care aquarius bye for now